Kiki. Um, I'm kind of emotional right now. Um, my friend that worked with me, um, she, we became friends at work um, because both of us were selected for the train people and we became friends and she's getting ready to leave. Today was our last day working together. Her last day is Friday, um, but I'm working from home tomorrow and Friday. And um, so she, um, her last day for us working together, our last day working together is today because she's moving back to Michigan. Um, and um, yeah, it, it's a bittersweet moment. Um, not even bittersweet I guess I just I think I'm emotional because it's like every time I make friends they leave out of my life like every time I have friends they leave and so um I have tears in my eyes because I'm gonna miss her um having a friend like that at work makes your day go by faster um yeah so uh her last day is um today i mean friday and she'll be um going back to michigan and um virginia just didn't work for her um with finding a place and things like that um that she could afford and um yeah um i just felt like you know when i was walking to my car and we were saying bye i was like every time i get close to someone or be friends with someone you know this happens and so um the guy that i think is real good looking was at the at the desk when me and her was walking out and she noted that I, I think he cute and we were laughing because he was at the desk when we were walking out she was like oh your boo i was like oh my gosh but um yeah um sorry they yelling at each other i was like who yelling <laughs> do i need to move um so that's um that's what's that's what's causing my sadness right now um, because out of everybody at work she's the only one I really have gotten close with um, and she's a younger girl so you know I'm trying to teach her things and teach her how to live on her own and teach her how to be an independent woman and so I try to teach her that you know let her know that I was your age once and you gonna make it you gonna be all right and so it's it's And the thing is, both of our signs are the same. So we pretty much understand each other. Um, because both of our signs are the same. Um, it's just having that someone to laugh with. To laugh with every day. I'm going to miss it, you know. Um, I talk to my team lead and we laugh and stuff with my team lead. And, my, and the other team lead, we, we laugh and stuff. But... Uh, yeah, yeah, um, it's just funny how things change so quickly, you know, of after getting to know people and losing people out of your life and and I know the thing that hurts is that I know that friends only come in my life for a season because God showed me that years ago that friends come in my life for a season I just hate when that season is over because then I don't have any friends you know um so yeah
something I know, y'all. I know. I know that they're only that when I do have friends, and that's what scares me sometimes is when I start to to allow anyone to be friends with me or get close to me. It scares me because I don't know when they're going to leave my life. Oh, I don't know when we'll we'll be going our separate ways, you know, or when the time when the time is up for for them not to be for us not to be a part of each other lives anymore and it hurts because my one of my friends that was like a sister to me all those years that I was traveling and singing we're no longer like we we're no longer friends like you know just we're no longer friends and so a lot of times it's it's hard for me because I when I consider you like a sister to me and then I have to lose you as a friend it hurts it literally hurts um It really hurts and um, I just and I know I already know that friends are only in my life for a season and I just have to I have to accept that I have to um, be okay with that um, Sometimes it's hard though, y'all. Sometimes it's hard because I want to have friends like everybody else have friends, you know? I, I want to be able to hang out with somebody too, you know? And, um, yeah, this, she and I would go eat at places after work and stuff. And, um, we didn't take our lunch together all the time because she, uh, her and the, uh, the other girl ate lunch together sometimes. And sometimes I would eat with them. Sometimes I didn't. Um, but I'm definitely going to miss her. Um, I'm definitely going to miss her. Uh, I guess I'll get a lot of work done at work now because... She's going to be gone. She's going to be gone. I'm sorry. I just had to record this moment because I get so tired of losing dear people to me. Whether they are, gone, we're in separate places and they're gone, you know, they're gone to live their life or whether. whether our paths go in a different way or know that friends are only in my life for just a season and I guess I guess her season is over in my life She had become the one person I'd be like, girl, let me tell you what done happened yesterday or let me tell you what done happened over the weekend. I don't do that with a lot of people and it takes a lot of time for me to trust someone to even get to that point. And I, that we would share things or, you know, what? Well, let me tell you what happened or let me tell you this. And yeah. I just I wish her the best and hopefully she find a place of happiness in her life because that's what she's looking for um, because she's not happy here because of her living situation living with a family member she's not happy here um, so 
and her finding her own place here didn't work didn't work out um so yeah I'm about to go into this store real quick and um, maybe me buying something will make me feel a little bit better because <laughs> I am I legit y'all I just I just had tears in my eyes when I was leaving work and I was like God why I always have to lose a friend Like, one, I could be like, hey, you want to go to the mall? Like we did the other day. Me and her went to the mall. <laughs> I haven't been to the mall in years. And me and her went to the mall, and we just had fun. And just, um, yeah. And I'm not like that with anybody else at work. I can't see myself hanging out with nobody else at work. Tomorrow, can you go, let's go to the mall. I just definitely, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't see that happening. So, all right, guys, enough of my crying now. You know, I just had to shed a couple of tears, especially when you get a good friend. When you get a good friend that you can trust and that is loyal and that's genuine, that's just a genuine friend, um, you better, you, you, when you lose that, it hurts. It hurts. Especially when you are introvert like I am. I'm an introvert and I'm a very strong introvert, okay? When you are introvert like I am, it's not going to be too many times that you allow someone to become your friend and you, you, you know, are cool with them. So I'm an introvert. I, li I usually like to be by myself, be, you know, be alone and things like that. I like to be, you know, I just like my space. I like my own space. So, um, oh Lord, there's a bug on my car. Get off my car. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much what's going on. And, you know, the funny thing is, is when my, the girl that was my, like a sister to me, we, I called her sister, left out of my life, I... It hurt. It hurt and she was the one person that I talked about everything with and it hurt because we are in two different places of our lives right now um, it just she went her own way and I had no choice but to go my own way because I saw she went her own way we didn't have an argument or anything that stopped our friendship this time. <laughs> we didn't have an argument or anything, but it's just that sometimes you outgrow certain people. And when certain people are stuck in one way and then the other person is not in that way, sometimes you got to go your separate ways. And so that's what happened with us. And, and there have been times and she's been what out of my life for probably about three years now, three or four years. And during that time, I'm like, wow, like, I haven't had any good friends. Like, I haven't had any good girlfriends. I have got friends, but I haven't had any good girlfriends that I could just chat with. And just, you know, sometimes you just need a girl, a girlfriend to hear it. Like, like, like the girl that's leaving the work. I wouldn't have told nobody else that I thought that boy at that desk was cute, but I told her. And we laugh about it, you know, and I don't have that good girlfriend anymore that, you know, I, I missed that. So during the years, I'd be like, man, I, I really miss my sister friend, my, my friend's sister. I used to call her sister. I'd be like, I miss her. Like, I don't have anybody to text or call or go to the Janet Jackson concert because I went to, me and her went to the Janet Jackson concert because she had a free ticket and all that stuff and talk about men and things like that and you know um i missed that and so when um my friend at work her name deja and when she came 
you know, to we became friends that way. And the thing is, when we first started working together, we did not talk. Like, she ain't talked to me and I ain't talked to her. And she was rude. I told her she was a rude person. She was rude. <laughs> and we laugh about it. Because we never thought that we would become friends. And we did. And so, um... That chapter of my life is now over. I told her she can still change her mind and not leave. And because she hasn't turned at her two week notice yet. So she's trying to make sure she's making the right decision first. And I'm like, okay, you can still not turn in your two week notice and stay. Um, but as of right now, you know, her plans are to leave because she's going home on Friday. So her plans are to leave and not come back to the job. Um, so, to leave and move to Michigan. So, that's where we're at. That is where we're at. Um, I'm going to go in this store, y'all. I just had to share that with you guys. And share the, just a moment of me shedding tears um, of sadness. Because I'm going to miss her. You know, going to miss her. Everybody wanted her to stay. Everybody wanted her to stay. But, she, like I told her, you have to do what's best for you. You have to do what's best for you. So, I don't even feel like going in the store now, y'all. All right, y'all. I will talk to y'all later. And uh, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And please, guys, be the best you that you can be. Bye.